Hey guys, it's me, Death Bowler Bus, here for a little note in the uh, annals of arcade history. This is uh, the Deco Cassette System. Um, there's a whole bunch of these games on for uh, for Mame on the uh, emulator and whatnot, and a bunch of ROMs for it. But um, yeah, just gonna give my uh, little uh, a little history on the uh, Deco Cassette System via Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. Deco Cassette System. The Deco Cassette System was introduced in 1980 by Data East and was the first standard standardized arcade system that allowed arcade owners to change games. Kind of cool. The arcade owner would buy a cabinet while the games were stored on standard audio cassettes. The arcade owner would insert the cassette and a security dongle. <laughs> dongle. <laughs> Such a funny word. This was an early this was an early form of copy protection to ensure the tapes would not be copied. Apparently it didn't work cuz I'm playing it now in 2013. Into the cabinet when the cabinet was powered up the program from the tape would be copied into the cabinet's RAM chips. This process took about 2 minutes as you can see by the little countdown here. This process took about two minutes. After this, the game could be played. It was revolutionary for its time, but arcade owners complained about the poor reliability of the cassettes, which could be demagnetized easily, corrupting the game data, and the poor quality of the games offered, as well as long loading times. Most of the De Deco cassette games are playable in MAME. So... Um, let's just take a look at the one that's coming up. It's uh, actually, it's called Astro Fantasia. So yeah, I mean, this wouldn't be a problem if you were an arcade owner. You would obviously come in into the uh, arcade in the morning and then just wait for the thing to, b wait for the uh, all the systems to boot up, you know, whatever game you decide to put in. I'm assuming they would have multiple uh, cabinets with different uh, games that they would swap out. But yeah, Playing this, you know, now that's just a hassle because you gotta wait two minutes for the, for uh, the ROM to uh, to boot up, which is kind of strange given that you know it is a ROM. But uh, let's just take a look at the the game. A lot of these games are um, have been released on their own um, as just actual arcade games. Um, Burger Time, Burning Rubber, a whole bunch of bunch of games. A lot of a lot of also a lot of um you know more obscure ones that I'll get to eventually so this is Astro Fanta Fantasia let's just take a look ah, your typical space shoot 'em up ah, not too terrible oh cool ah shoot so, I'm going forward, it's kind of like Space Invaders. It's kind of interesting that if you move forward, you can see how many. Ah, damn it. How many um, enemy ships are left. Or so it appears. So, yeah, that was uh, Astro Fantasia, part of the many games for the, um, the Deco. Deco cassette system from Daddy East. Kind of a like a now it's more of an obscure uh, little little note in the uh, annals of uh, arcade history. So this has been Death by Blunderbuss for another edition of One Credit. Take care, guys. Bye bye.